Hi, my name is Lana K. I like talking about K-pop, and today we're gonna be listening to Purple Kiss's latest comeback. This is their mini album, BXX. I'm quite excited for this. Some of those concept photos looked reminiscent of Mem Mem era, which is something that I've been missing from them. I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of missing the like loud and boisterous Purple Kiss. So maybe we're making a bit of a return to that. I guess we'll find out. We're gonna listen to the whole mini album, starting of course with the title track, BBB. You know I get change your life. Oh, for some little fake young shit and tell her, baby, junk a month. I like this face. That's nice. The story to check her is a baby in the crazy in a fever. Oh, to save you. Oh, they get to the number of secretive. My pleasure. Don't be alone. So can't get all the tools you might go. Say what you want. Going with red hair, it's everything I've ever wanted. I love that. That like, right before the chorus. That's so cool. I'm into it. I'm, ooh, I really like this. Obviously I was wrong about getting something reminiscent of Mem Mem, but that's good, actually. <laughs> because one thing I love about Purple Kiss is that they consistently do something that we haven't heard from them before, specifically between their title tracks. So no, it's not as loud and boisterous as I maybe would have wanted, but that's okay. As I've been sitting here, I was right. I, the bad behavior, bad, that's on repeat in my head. I can't stop, like, it's such an earworm. Oh my God. This opening is so like cutesy with like the birds. <laughs> Is like a scream? Ooh. The oh, that's stunning. I already said I really liked that fun little like instrument, but I like before that that it's just that person's voice, like they cut everything out. That's really fun. Oh. 
제대로 비춰보지 않는 거 반지키지 남의 눈치 보지 마 비춰야 you get it Swan, that's beautiful. The beginning of her part. Oh, that's beautiful. Do I hear a trumpet? I think I do. I do. I didn't notice that the first time. I love brass. That makes me really happy. Also, I love all of the like, the like ad libs going on, like the la la la's and the just other stuff. That's like really fun. I feel like I've been saying the word fun. That's like my only adjective this video. <laughs> I love mm. That's like that's Pause, please, pause. Hang on. Oh my god. I really love that the note that Swan is singing when she sings happy ever after. I love that that like goes down and it like not just goes down but it like slides down. It like dies down, right? Cuz like that it's like the exact opposite of what you would think sing about happy ever after right and you're like after you know what i mean that's really fun which by the way is like perfect for the lyrics which i forgot to look up in this video but the whole song leading up to that is like i read it as a song about like breaking rules and like like the the first line of the chorus is try a bad behavior the pre-chorus before that says don't just kindly give in say what you want do whatever you want the truth is you're born that way you can't change it and there is also in the middle of the pre-chorus better to be bad than to be hurt like a villain do whatever you want and then later in the chorus the second half of the chorus says bad behavior both be happier which i think is kind of interesting because it's like i don't think they mean you actually are a villain if you do what you want i think it's supposed to be a reference back to like the second verse where they're talking about like in a half crazy world don't mind other people's eyes like you have to go crazy and so those people are going to see you as a villain because you're doing what you want but you're not actually so you know both be happier is kind of like you get what you want because you're getting ahead in whatever way that looks like for you because you're breaking rules and you're doing what you need to do and the other people you know let them call you a villain they'll be happier for it just let them do it don't mind them do your do your thing right and then this bridge is kind of a moment in the middle of this song where we step away a little bit from the like rule breaking bad behavior vibe and like conversation and we're talking about dreams and you'll be next to me we'll fly through eternity and you and i'll be happy ever after and again that's perfect because the rest of this song is not about you know everything's perfect and we'll be happy ever after you know yes i just argued that potentially the bad behavior both be happier line means that you are getting ahead and you are being happier but still you know as a whole this isn't like a happy ever after kind of situation this isn't fairy tale this is in the in the beginning of the song too not to bounce around a bunch but in the beginning of the song yuki says you know i can change your life fantasies are fake reality is not like that and so then when we have this bridge with the you know we'll fly through eternity and we're in the dreams and i'll be happy ever after you know that's fantasy that's fake and it's not real and so then for swan to be singing we'll be happy ever after but for her voice to do exactly what i was just talking about where like her pitch goes down and it's uh, like it's 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 not it's not happy it's not happily ever after and that breaks again this like fantasy separate world that the bridge lives in and brings us back to the chorus try bad behavior bad behavior and then we're back into the quote-unquote reality of the song and yeah all that i just mwah, love
there's an electric guitar here too. In the last one. It's more obviously the beginning. Really faint. I almost wish they turned that up. I do well. Let me make sure it was. Yep. Like because it's only in the last one. I feel like they could have. I feel like they could have bumped it a little more. It, it. I feel like it adds a really nice texture. It has like a nice hum crunch to it. Crunchy hum. I think is how I should have said that. I think that's nice. I like that. I also like the the. Well, kind of torn. And on a personal note, I wish that the trumpet was given more room, but. I do also like that it, it's like one note here and there and like I keep expecting it to follow kind of like a similar pattern that um, the like pre-choruses have and like swans parts where they're kind of like sighing these notes Duh! like that feels so trumpet to like slide between things like that and so I keep expecting it to mimic that but it's it just doesn't it just does not it hits like two notes and i like it but also because i personally love trumpet so much or i love brass so much i kind of wish there was more of it oh you can kind of hear the guitar that's in the whole last chorus start to come in at the very end here just a little bit i wonder that was in the first one too I don't hear it. I like that. I like that it's like none, a little, and then all. That's a, that's a nice like build of that. Shall we do some B-sides? Okay, we have intro, one, two, three, and then four other full B-sides. So, first up, we have intro, crush. said this in my sweet juice reaction i don't know but i know i've said it before at some point i need them to stop making intros cut it out that should be a full song it should be there's no excuse for it not to be i am so <laughs> purple gifts i love you but i need you to stop making intros i can't take it anymore oh my god okay 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 this is so cool And that, the, the, there it is. And it, it like, it's even more frustrating to me that this is not a full song because I, in my opinion at least, the other intros that Purple Kiss have done, they, they, they do sound very intro-like. This sounds like just the beginning of a song. 
this sounds like the beginning of a verse. You know what I mean? Whereas the other ones, they, they have, they, they take a more like, I feel like atmospheric approach. And so it's more obvious that this is like just a quick little intro thing that we're doing. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like I kind of get what I'm saying here, but also at the same time, like you could totally turn atmospheric sound, atmospheric intros into full songs. Like that's not a completely <laughs> insane concept. But I've realized too, while I'm editing this part, that the biggest reason it bugs me so much is actually because all of their intros have more singing than I've ever heard an intro have. I personally have never heard an intro with as much singing as Purple Kiss does in theirs. Usually the ones I've heard are instrumental, and if they have singing, it's brief, or is or it's not even singing, they're like speaking. But Purple Kiss's intros all have something that could operate as a first verse, and something that could operate as a chorus. This one does with the you got a crush crush on me. Another example, illusion. Illusion. Da, 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 illusion. Right? That th they I just think that those so easily could be a chorus. And so what bugs me is that they're playing into the structure of a song, like a real song. But again, my biggest frustration is just that in terms of sound alone, I don't believe that these are intros. They don't sound like intros to me. And so I think the only reason that these songs have intro in their titles is because of the length. And again, as I've said now, like 20 times, that is just really frustrating to me personally. So yeah, again, I just realized this now while I'm editing. So I wanted to throw this in here as a way to like really truly articulate the way that I feel about this. Also, the, so the, 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 uh, uh, that like high pitched and then the, the what is happening? I love it so much. And the whistles too, I love a whistle. Like we did a whole first verse and a whole, we, this is a whole chorus. This too, I love acapella. It's not full acapella, but you know what I mean. Oh my god. I'm gonna move on before I get actually mad that that's not a full song, but I really like, it's almost pots and pansy, but like not. There's just like a bunch of random stuff happening, I feel like. All like the pops and, and, and again, those like high pitched frequency thing comes in with the, um, da -da 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 -da. yeah, that whole thing. They, they kind of feel like, Alien? That's really cool. Okay, up next is Bittersweet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. love those drums. Speaking of which, I love that the verse had like mimics of the, the bass from BBB with like a little bit of like a higher something going on. Ooh. Love that. Yeah, with like this clap. Mm. And it's also got a little bit of like the, you know, the plunky popness from Crush, too. Bass leading into that, the da da da, whatever it is. Oh. 
I like that tease. <laughs> vocal effect on her not just that making her kind of sound like she's like through a radio or something but also i love the scale of volume like having her start kind of quiet and building her and building her and building her voice that's nice too oh, i really like that one that was good okay up next we have boy toy I like that, the rhythm, those like little triplets. Da -da -da, da -da -da. space that that part took place in that was mm, we're gonna go back to that I know that, I know that, <laughs> I hate like comparing things to other things, you know, like let this be its own thing, but this reminds me so much of um, Bad Boy by Red Velvet. I feel like this could be like a little sister to that. I almost thought that was where the song was gonna end. <laughs> Would have been quite bold of them. I'm really 
into this instrumental. That's... Mm. Okay, let's go back to Yuki because I don't remember where this was. Here it is. The... What even, like, is that? I don't know. But I love the pattern of, of, of the notes. I love the melody that that has. Mm. That... Not me doing it at the same time. <laughs> Up next, we have Heart Attack. Ooh, I love that. Also that, I feel like I haven't heard them say that in so long. Ooh, I love that background stuff. That's beautiful. I like this guitar coming in. Yeah, my that run? Oh, those, those echoes, those harmonies, oh my god, they're beautiful. Vocally, this might be my favorite. There were so many things, like again, those like harmonies that were like um, doing the call and response during the verses, and then all of those little like runs that Swan had in the middle of the chorus, and just like the sighs and the ah, uh, ah, uh, it was it was beautiful. It was so beautiful, and I really love too. I want to check. Like that, yours. Th that's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I really like to structurally how they kind of like extended the sound of the chorus um, and had like Yuki do like a little rap over it and then they had that pause too. I think that was a really, really cool way to do the bridge. Heart 
And it's not that foreign either because the other two choruses have that post-chorus section. And I like here, there's little piano, little plinks that they add throughout. They're so darling, ugh. All right, last up we have Voyager. I like that. That like lower <laughs> what was that? I'm really into those like post choruses that had the really long, would you call them runs? Maybe. Normally I think of runs as like something really quick, but I guess maybe you could apply it here. I don't know, but I really like it. I'm a big fan of like, maybe this is a weird way to word this, but like the length of that and, and therefore like the space that that takes up, I think it's really nice. And I also, I don't know why, but in the chorus, I like didn't expect them to move notes on that part. I didn't expect them to move notes with that, and I really like that they do. I think that's really beautiful. I also really like during that long like post-chorus, the electric guitar that comes in like under them. Really nice. Also lyrically from this song, I really like throw me in this wind. That's, mm, I like that a lot. I'm really into this comeback. The title track I think is one of my favorites from them in a while. I am really into it. I think my top three, definitely BBB, Bittersweet, and I think Heart Attack. I want to put Crush in my top three, but that's not even a full fucking song, so I feel like I... Uh, I'm not going to. BBB, Bittersweet, Heart Attack are my current top three. If you are at all curious how 
that ranking potentially changes as I keep listening to this album. I'll put it in the description below. If you liked hearing me talk about Purple Kiss, make sure to come back and visit me when they have their next comeback and grace us with more incredible music. And if you liked hearing me talk so much, you can subscribe and we can talk about other fun music in the meantime. Either way, until I see you next, take care of yourself. Thank you.